on the story and speak to Steve Pears, who joins us now in our London studio. He's an analyst and an expert on the European Union laws. Steve, many thanks for joining us this evening. Is this a big victory for the Brexit challenges? It is, but of course it's subject to appeal and also it's subject to that big question of what Parliament would do if it got a vote. Since many MPs, even those who supported the Remain side, have said they will go along with the vote of the British public, I think what it will come down to is this would be an opportunity for Parliament to constrain Theresa May and her government and to set limits on how the Brexit process works by giving more information or aiming to stay in the EU single market, for instance. So how do we weigh this up? I mean, what are the chances of the government actually getting a successful appeal? Well, it's, I would say it's very hard to guess how a court is going to rule. A lot of people thought this court judgment today would go the other way. So I would have thought a maybe 50-50 chance of winning on appeal. It's a quite a well-written judgment, but there are flaws that you could pick in it. So maybe a 50-50 chance. So from, from the government's point of view, I suppose it's worth doing. It could all be delayed if the EU court gets involved. That's another possibility that could delay everything a few months and be a big political problem too. Could we see an early election as a result of this decision? Well, I think there are several scenarios of an early election if, for instance, Parliament refused to uh, <coughs> accept Article 50 being invoked and the process starting, or Parliament tried to place conditions that really Mrs May uh, couldn't stand at all, and then she might want to have an early election. But it, that could, uh, it could be a problem calling an early election. It's, it's not that easy or simple to call an early election in Britain as it used to be. She'd have to actually ask Parliament to call one and convince the opposition to go along with it or have her own MPs defeat her or something like that. But it is, it is a possibility. If Parliament does end up having to vote on this, what kind of scenario are we likely to see? After all, most MPs did campaign to remain. Well, the leader of the opposition Labour Party and some of the most senior opposition people uh, have said they would accept the uh, leave vote of the public even though they campaign to remain. And from everything I can see, there's probably enough votes in Parliament, at least in the House of Commons, who would accept the public vote and, and go along with something that they didn't really agree with because of the public vote. So, as I say, I don't think that's the problem for Mrs May. The problem would be the opportunity this is to set limits on her, to make mm. concessions to Scotland and Northern Ireland, for instance, uh, that she may not be willing to make and to sort of tie her hands a little bit in the negotiations more than she wanted them to be tied. Mm. Okay, Steve, appreciate your time. Steve Pears, an expert on Europe.